I have to say, um, it's been some time and we are alive. It is a dusk, it's dusk at this moment and I must say, um, I'm feeling rather peckish. I feel like I must peck. But nah, I suck at this. Um, <laughs> what's up, what's up, everyone? It's a boy, Java slash Bortarian. And uh, I suck at speaking French. I have to say, I, I, I suck at speaking French. I mean, I might get away with a little British accent, but I suck at it. What's up, Kaiser? Here we go again, boy. So, that being said, Everyone gather your, get some tea, get your hat, gentlemen get your cane, ladies get be in your frilly dress, and let's kick things off. It's not catching it. All right, to catch it like this. Here we go. Oh, it always that. All righty, let's kick things off, shall we? Okay, so last episode, you would have seen me going through at the start of the game, and I defended a criminal admitted to the freaking crime for more details check out the video on twitch also i'm now on youtube guys so check me out feel free to subscribe mortarian73 that's the name of the channel two videos are up so far um i hope to post more videos as i continue this career so let's get into it this is episode two let's go The Palais du Louvre. Oh, oh. Let us be reasonable, seniors. I'm sure that this is a simple misunderstanding. There is no misunderstanding. In the name of the king, rest is Spanish. Act 2 A Fox Among Wolves. Oh, I knew I knew Falcon wouldn't be like turning up in the office on a Friday. Bah. Mm. But now it's midday and Monday and there's still no sign of him. This is becoming a little concerning. Duh. I should probably go find him. His home would be a good place to start. But the bird brain never gave me his address. Ugh. Hmm. I'll just have to find him the hard way. Okay. Um. No. 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 Yeah. Let's go at the office. But I came from the office. I'm dumb. Alright, let's go to the prison. I ain't got nowhere else to go. Hmm, excuse me, Monsieur. I'm looking for my friend. Yo, I'm look like lost and found youth. When are youth? Alrighty then. Dead. <laughs> Why? I'm not gonna find anything here. 
Hmm. Excuse me, Mademoiselle du Hot. Um, down here. Oh, there you are. It's Sparson, right? That's right. I heard about the case you were involved in. I never, I never would have thought that the Baron was a murderer. He always treated me with the utmost respect. But then, I suppose it makes sense that most ruthless killers are the ones who put up the best facade. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, what's your friend doing? Seemed a little down last night. Oh, have you seen him? Yes, he was brooding in the corner of the canard tree. Enjoy you, mumbling and drinking. It was a little depressing, to be perfectly honest. Female, sorry. The canal Joyeux. That's a dingy student bar, Rougeon, right? It's not. It's not dingy. Just a little rustic, to say the least. In any case, that's an enormous help. Thanks, mademoiselle. Anytime. Person? Yeah, we have an idea where to go. Shout out to all four viewers, welcome. Sparrowson steps through the doors of Le Canard Joyeux, the dingiest student cavern in all of Paris. His nostrils filled with the pungent aroma of sour wine and bitter tobacco. Real ruffle my feathers if it is a little sparse. I haven't seen you in years. How you doing, hon? I'm feeling pretty good, madam. Quanel, thanks for asking. I'm actually here to find a friend. He's a big guy named JJ Falcon. Falcon? Yep, that Sir Lump has been here all weekend. He's just been moaning and groaning and muttering to himself all weekend. Frankly, he's bringing the whole atmosphere down. Yeah, I'll take care of him. Thanks, Madam Quanell. It's no problem, hon. He's probably still in the corner of the drinking room upstairs. Yo, gamer, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the stream, fam. Good to see you. Drinking room. Alright, let's go here. Hmm. Hmm. No sign of him. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Mon Dieu! I almost stepped on the big fellow. Uh. Falcon? What are you doing on the floor? Hey, fuck on! Wake up, man! Oh, bro, gotta talk now? Hey, yo, gamer, let me know what bro gotta say uh, uh, while, while it's uh, gone. Is he me? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, bro, it's completely out cold. You must have chunked this place dry. Oh. Let's... How do you wake a drunk person? <laughs> Kaiser, I know you're here. He screams you. Tell me which option to choose. <laughs> Let's see. Waiting on Kaiser if he's there. If not, then I'll pick something I know he would choose. Three, two, one. Alright, he ain't there. So, pick his ass. Hmm, nope. Nothing. Alright, for a drink on his head. Well, 
I guess it's time for a rude awakening. Wakey, wakey! Kiskase! Aha! Good! These are up! Are... Are you with us, Falcon? Yeah. Feeling sober? We should probably head back to the aviary office. Aviary office. So we can get some heart done. I don't understand this person. Hmm? I thought I did everything right. I followed all the procedures. I found all the evidence. I presented a case. Immaculately. I'm trading, substituting beautifully for immaculately, of course. And yet, a guilty feline walks free while an innocent man sits in custody? What went wrong? Where is the justice? I ain't got no words, fam. Sir Falcon. I don't have any, I don't have the answers. What I do have is a freshly baked croissant at Pierre's Boulangerie. Croissant. Yep, they're wait we are waiting for you back at the aviary. I'm sitting here moping about justice. And you offer me croissants? Well, it's not just croissants. I got some pain out. Pains are chocolate, too. No, wait. Pains are... Pains are chocolate. In chocolate. French, yeah. m -Cup. What's up, m -Cup? Charlie, what's up? Welcome, folks. Welcome, welcome. I could go for some chocolate. Brilliant! Then let's make a move! Hey, chocolate works, guys. Chocolate works. Guys, the way the path to a woman's heart, chocolate. Take notes. Alright, I admit it. These croissants are amazing. I told you. Here is Boulangerie on Rouver. Rouver is something else. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce this properly. Rouverde, Rouver, Rouver, whichever. I didn't do French, guys. I'm just trying to think. Oh, that reminds me. Z Baker told me something interesting. Do you know what they call pains or chocolate in America? They don't call them pains or chocolate? Nope. Pronunciation difficulties. American is a whole nother language. So what do they call them? Chocolate croissants. <laughs> of course. Of course. Chocolate croissants. Is that sh is that croissant or chocolate? Chocolate croissants. Chocolate croissants. What do they call profiteroles? Profiteroles or profiteroles? I don't. Oh, I think those are still profiteroles. Profiteroles. But rather than custard, they fill them with ice cream and smother them in melted chocolate. Guys, if, if for those of you who are from America, tell me more about these. Profit trolls. Please, I'd like to learn. Simply outstanding. Is, is this the Avery attorney? Can I speak up to someone, please? Well, what do they call crabs? Excuse me. 
my people, my, my folks must be like, what is that? Did you just hear something, Sparson? Sorry, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you, little one? Oh, oh gosh, what a start! Your name, perhaps? Mousey, my name is Mousey. Oh my gosh, guys, <laughs> really? And what can we do for you, Monsieur Mousey? Legal turbulence? You mean he's been arrested? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. You're saying he's a murderer. But he didn't do it. He didn't do it. Hmm, that's quite the problem. I know. Oh, but I forgot to mention he's the Prince of Spain. The, the Prince of Spain? And you didn't think that was worth mentioning from the start? I forgot, I forgot! I'm sorry! Don't kill me! I must ask, Mousy, why did you come to us? I would have thought that the Spanish royal family would hire legal counsel with a little more... Um... Not terribly, terribly, yes? Not really, I was thinking more in the lines of... Expertise. Oh, well, um, the prince has great faith in your lawyer skills, Monsieur Falcon. He said your reputation as a lawyer was renowned. Really? The prince said that? This is a great opportunity, Falcon. Surely you would deny a, a request from the prince of Spain? I mean... Of course not. <laughs> of course we'll take the case. Grab your coats, person. We have royalty to, def to defend. That's the spirit. Good luck to you, messieurs. You're coming with us, Mousy. I have, um, I have other matters to attend to. But Prince Juan is being held in conciergery. Prison. Prison. He's been held in the prison. Shop. <laughs> I'm sure he will fill in all the details. Right. Let's make a move then. Okay. Going to prison. I, for the life of me, I can't pronounce that. How is everyone today? You guys all right? Hope you're enjoying the um, interesting episode. <clears throat> Good day, Monsieur. Yo, Noah. Oh, yo. Well done upon the kitten trial, is he? Baron is pacing around in a cell and he kind of want to choke you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Yo, I'm 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 mad still, you know. But a criminal is a criminal, right? The land no want a death sentence. You shouldn't kill nobody still. But I mean, I'm just a warden, you see me. You're not there for defend him, right? Because that would be funny. I like. Well, we're actually here to see Prince Juan Cuero, heir to the throne of Spain. Oh, the fox brother? The man just... He can't talk. He may as well say senores, senores, or senores, or something like that with some... Um, him just being extra. The man just extra, dog. So, here with me, I say. The sooner him get hung, the better. Oh, power oh, no? Well, I'm not young. How am I gonna voice this guy now? The prince of 
Prince of Spain, I presume. Ho ho! <laughs> Indeed, I am Juan Cudero, heir to the throne of España, and you must be the legendary Senor JJ Falcon. Well, I wouldn't say legendary. I wouldn't even say notable. Oh, such humility! I would expect nothing less from the renowned individuals such as yourselves. Oh, -ho. but let us get down to business. I trust that my compañero, Mousy, um, explained the situation. He told us that you have been accused of murder, but we would, but we need some further details before we can start our investigation. Ah, of course. What is it that you wanted to know? Well, first of all, tell us about the murder. To be honest, Prince Juan, I'm a little confused as to how a member of royalty could be in so much trouble. Could you walk us through your activities on the day of the murder? Of course, of course. Let me see. Where to begin? It was, cold. it was a cold and misty morning on the 6th of January. I heard that the king, King Louis Philippe, was unveiling a new painting at the Palais de la Voix, and I wished to meet the man himself. So, after a brief stroll and picnic, oh, after a brief stroll and picnic in the garden, I entered the palace. I found the royal entourage in the Lovers Grand Gallery. When I saw an opportunity, I presented a communicate to the king. A rose, an international symbol of passion and virtue. After all, I am the prince of Espana, and red is romantic. How romantic, indeed. But before the king could take it, I rather Rude a person snatched it from my fingers. It was a royal guard, a dog by the name of Major Howell. Good going, guys. Good going. Ouch! cried the Major Howell. I have pricked myself upon the thorns of this dastardly flower. And then the Major slumped to the floor. His face turned blue. His mouth throbbed. And he died. Oh. He died straight away after being pricked. Straight away, senor. It's obvious that the pricked finger was the cause of death. But I don't know of any poison that acts so fast. Nor do I, senor Falcon. But clearly the police felt that poison upon the rose stones was, large, was the only logical explanation. And with so many witnesses, even the king himself, what could I say to defend myself? Where did this rose come from? I acquired it from a beautiful Parisian flower seller at Les Halles Markets. A girl by the name of Catherine Marie Signier. But surely you're not suggesting that the flower girl applied the poison herself, Senor Falcon? Well, I'm not making any accusation as yet. I'm just planning to explore the land and inquiry. I got the rose, man. Did you want to ask something here, Senor Falcon? I mean, I kinda guess why you're in Paris, so I'll leave that. What are you reading? What were you reading before, before we so rudely interrupted? Ah, this book. It is a Spanish classic. Don Cox. Hold up. Don Quis Coxo of La Mancha. Don Coxo of La Mancha. Do you know it? Hold up. Do I know of it? This man is asking me, do I know of Spanish literature? I never heard of it. But. I'll lie. 
I've heard of it. It's about the knight who joust windmills, right? Hmm, that's one part of the story, yes? The hero, who is a virtuous but elderly knight by the name of Don Coxto. Don Quicksort. Quicksort? Quicksort? Something? In the chapter you mentioned, he takes up arms against an army of giants who are terrorizing a town. Quicks. Quicksort's partner, Sancho, warns him that the giants are just windmills, and their flailing arms are just sails twirling in the wind. But Quicksort doesn't listen. He takes up his lance, gets on his horse, and charges straight away. Sounds more like dumb Quicksort. Am I right, Falcon? Ah, oh, perhaps he's dumb. Senor Sparrison, but many of us spend our whole lives jousting imaginary giants. Shots were fired. Speak for yourself, one. I've never been jousting, let alone seen a giant. I think we're getting off track here. Indeed. I tell you what, Senor Falcon, I'll lend you my copy of this book. Maybe you'll have some time to give it a read at some point. Maybe I will. I thank you. El Ingen. El Genioso Hidalgo Don Quichote de la Mancha. Whatever that is. Was there anything else you wanted to know? Be there for. Why did you come to Paris, Prince Juan? Ah, I was on a diplomatic mission. I do not know whether you are familiar with current events. But you may have heard that my country is in a state of turmoil. Contenders for the Spanish throne are slandering, butting, backstabbing. It's chaos, and the people are suffering. So I thought, if I can befriend some French royalty, perhaps even the king himself, maybe I can strengthen the fam my family's name. Hmm, but with the queer creator dynasty restored, I would have a chance at bringing peace to my beautiful nation. Well, that's one plan's gone out the window. Sparrow, Sparrow, don't be rude. <laughs> no, he's right. I failed terribly. Don't frank, Prince One. We'll do everything in our power to clear your name. Maybe once the dust has settled, you'll have another another opportunity to speak with King Louis Philippe and complete your mission. Thank you, Senor Falcon. I am sure you will do your best. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No, I think that's everything. Thank you. So what's the plan, Big Bird? Well, we have two lines of inquiry. We should head to the, we should head to the scene of the crime of Palais de la Vie and see if we can find see if we can find any clues or witnesses. And we should interview the flower girl in Le, Le Hall Market to see if she has anything to say about this alleged poison the rose. Two tasks spread over the six days? This sounds almost too easy. Let's not get complacent. Good luck, senores. Ooh la la. Wait a minute, Falcon. What is it? Did something seem off about Prince Juan to you? Well, I mean, he reeked of sus. But he's quite a. Well, he is flamboyant. But let me just go with this first. He was hiding something for you. You picked it up on it too. It's like the fox was hiding something. I mean, Sly Fox, right? It seems like we're on the same page. Well, look, if this is bothering you, then we could always ask around. Maybe someone in the city knows Juan's dirty secret. If he actually has anything to hide, that is. Yeah, let's dig up the dirt. But we still got a trial to prepare for. Priority, Sparrison. Alright, the next day. 
the area of Agon, we have we have to go to the Hong, we have to go to Palais de Levoire, Palais de, de Levoire, and prison. So let's go to Palais de Levoire. How can this person make their way to the play? Play as they do carousel, the courtyard just north of Louvre's Grand Gallery. That's the art. They triumph over there, right? I swear, smaller than how I remember it. That's the art they triumph. Do carousel, you doofus. The big art they triumph is up the road. You fool, Sparrison. What? No way! Where are they too? Because when a man like Napoleon invades half of Europe, he gets to build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> the G! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh no, guys, I need to come here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, going forward, I'm gonna need this guy. I'm gonna need Kaiser to voice this guy. I'm going to need Kaiser to voice this guy. Well, well, well. I never expected to see you here, JJ. That arrogant voice. Good day, Severin. Let's be civil, JJ. Why don't you introduce me to your new assistant? Fine, fine. Severin, this is Sparrison, my assistant. Sparrison? This is Severin Cocorico, the most pompous prosecutor in Paris. Oh, are you two old friends or so old school friends or something? More like arch rivals. No, hold up. No, this is this is way too good to freaking voice by myself. <laughs> Let me see if I can draw some help here. This is way too good. Way too good. If I had known this earlier. <laughs> hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Give me a sec guys. I need to I need to do something real quick. Bro. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know, I know, but it's going to be a delay. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can stream it on this one. No, but I have to figure out a voice dog. I can't, I can't. I can't just jump into this rat. <laughs> French accent, brother. I don't even know how to do that well. Shit. I I guess it I guess it will I guess it will pick up while the street while the voice goes on. Bruh. Shit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go stream it. <laughs> Once, all right, we're good, we're good then. Choose one there, choose one there. <laughs> but I'm not speaking. Yeah. Bro. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, I could not um, continue this stream when Severin is in without 
is legit voice actor. So let us continue. Please, JJ. I think arch rival implies some sort of competition. As I recall, we've met in court on five occasions, and on five occasions, did you get humiliated terribly? Oh my gosh. I'm amazed that failing bird brain like you is still able to get clients. Actually, Severin, business has never been better. I'll have you know that I am currently being employed by the Prince of Spain, no less. The Prince of Spain? Juan Cuerdo? Uh, did I even say that? Yeah, you Credido. did. Juan Credido. Well, well, this is quite an amusing coincidence. Don't tell me. One, two. Correct. I, I am the prosecutor for the very same case. Uh. Right, no game. Before I continue, let's go get the after Ready? Alright, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. It is a pity that the Spanish prince will indubitably hang, but I suppose that is what I what he gets for hiring a bird brain to represent him. Don't call me bird brain. You're the only bird brain here suffering. Tisk. Always speaks badly when one has nothing to say. Oh dear. Uh oh, he's giving you the verbal smackdown. Quick, Falcon, make a way to retort. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh. Uh. Bro, I don't even know what to say here. That was a. <laughs> that was that was sad. That was a solid <laughs> comment. That was a solid clap back. Thank you. But uh, I see. A witch is saying proves nothing. But yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Very good, JJ. A worthy repost. But enough talk. How about you? I'm if sorry, you I have to say. Would excuse me. I have a case to prepare for. JJ, Sparrow, son. I'll see you two in court. Ugh, I can't stand the guy. <laughs> he did seem like a bit of a cockerel. Is it, is it true what he said? You know, that he chounced in court five times? Oh, I can't deny it. Severin has a reputation as a ruthlessly thorough prosecutor. Mountains of evidence, surprise witnesses. It's no wonder he's always manages to one up me. But this time the will this time it will be different, right? I hope so. I know so, for you see Aha I stole this annotated map of the Lovea out of Cockrico's pocket when he was busily busy rattling off Voltaire coats. Sparison! That's 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 Pretty impressive. Pretty Fucking impressive. Illegal. <laughs> <laughs> we don't work with logics here, man. <laughs> Pretty impressive, actually. I swear you were standing there three meters away the whole time. You tall birds are so busy with your heads in the clothes that you don't even ever notice us small folk running around your feet. Speak for yourself, the rat didn't even you couldn't even see the rat. Pinching Kokriko's pocket was like taking candy from a very tall baby. Let's take a closer look. Ooh la la, I see. This map shows the entire Lavoie area. Everything from Tulia, Tulia to the Rue de Lavoie. Most convenient. We're currently standing here in the Place du Carousel. Hmm. And those pending arrows seems to show the route taken by the king's entourage. Which means that the king first went here, to the Sarriel du, du Tibre, whatever that is, and then here into Grand Galliere, 
the murder occurred. Didn't Prince Paris no oh, Prince Paris Didn't Prince Juan say that he spent the morning in the Tulia Gardens? That's right. So that means Juan Prince Juan approached a little bit from the west side as somewhere over here. Shout out to Kaiser. Thank you for that surprise. Um Perfect. voice acting. <laughs> Always here, Doug. Always here for um Severin Kokoriko. I know that. That's why I had to dry out. Uh, so I just call this I go come off, but I go I just go stay in I go come back whenever Kokoriko comes out. Sure, sure, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Moving on. Sounds like we have a lot of places to visit. Where should we go first? Well, um, I mean, we have spots to go, so let's see. Oh, Burrowgard stuff. Yeah. Seven. Zin. Six. It's on the two. Nothing a two change. Alright. People just need to get him out earlier. Our feather headed friends wander through the immaculately maintained Tulia Gardens. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary until they spot a familiar face picking up litter by a tree line. Hey, Hakon. Doesn't that groundskeeper over there look familiar? By Jove, you're right. By that I'm looking at him, he does look a lot like a photographer. Uh, what's his name? Um, ah, here we go. Robitio Robinho. Hmm? Did someone call me? Oh, it's you. The lawyers who don't appreciate a masterful photograph, photograph when they see it. It's so good to see that you give up on your artsy dreams to pursue a more grounded career. <laughs> Groundskeeper. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Dead. Say in other words, bro, God, lock off the country. Alright, got you. Hey, I'm not doing this willingly. I was giving community service for the committing perjury. Can you believe that? They give me. An esteemed photographer, community service, me. Yeah, I can believe that. Perjury is somewhat serious. You should be thankful that you got off without jail time. You should. You sound just like that self-righteous Judge Maxima. So, did you two want to ask me something, or are you just here to gop? Personally, I'm just gopping. Actually. We do have a couple of questions, if you don't mind, Monsieur Robinho. <laughs> Lol, I soon did this. I don't suppose you've bumped into a Spanish fox who goes by the name of Prince Juan, have you? A Spanish fox? No, I've never met anyone like that. If this is about that assassination attempt on the king, then you're asking the wrong person. I will have started working here today. Oh, I see. Was there anything else you wanted? Because I'm here for the lulls. So how's that new groundskeeping job working out? Oh, terrible. Tourists are pigs. Sometimes literally. Look at all this rubbish I found. Beer bottles, tin cans, apple cores. Look what I picked up by and look what I picked up this morning this by the wet's entrance. A freaking book page. A whole book I could understand. But a single page? What kind of blithering moron loses just one page? Wait a moment. May I take a closer look at that, Monsieur? Ooh la la. Don't quick sorts. That's a page from Don Quixote. 
May I take it off your hands, Monsieur? Sure. What's it worth to you? What's it worth? It's trash. It's literally worthless. Hold, look, before, before I let you embarrass yourself the entire time, <laughs> it's, it's pronounced Don Quixote. I did not know this because I did yeah, not. No, no worry. I got you. I got you. It's Don Quixote. Don Quixote. Thanks. Respect. Then I suppose I'll be I'll be destroying it as per my duties. All right, all right. I suppose you deserve a little compensation for your trouble. How about you give me the page and? Uh... All right, no, I could give him some money. I could speak with the judge, though I don't think the judge will do anything. I'll do him a favor. I'll do him a solid. I'll get your photographs up. Put up in the Lavoie, framed in the Grand Galliere, front and center. What say you? Wow! You have the power to do that? Absolutely, Monsieur. We're lawyers. We can do all kinds of crazy things. Then it's a deal. Here, take the page. I should practice from now. Page of page 44 of. El Ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha. Yeah, you're right, Kaiser. Quixote. J is sound like H. These people fooled me. I can Are you going to fulfill your part of the deal? I don't have a clue. We'll cross that bridge later. Once this case is over, maybe. Did you want to ask him something else? Nah, we're good. That's all. We'll let you get back to your work, Monsieur Drobinho. Alright, so on to... It says it should say place, but I think it's Plas... Place, or Plas du Carousel. I don't know, I didn't... La la la. Are we done? Are we all done here? Nope. Alright, go to Grande Galliere. Who the hell is this? Here we are, the Grand Galliere, the murder room. I believe the murder occurred right on under the new painting. I see hundreds of paintings. Which one is the new one? Max, good question. I haven't the foggiest. You will have to ask someone. Please don't talk to me, please don't talk to me. Excusez-moi, Monsieur. You look like you know your Mona Lisa's from your last suppers. I don't want any attention. Maybe he isn't talking to me. Nope, definitely not talking to me. Keep it together, Eric. Oh, uh, hey. Would you happen to know which painting was unveiled on the 7th of January? The one the king came to visit? Oh yeah, I can help you with that. It's a piece right behind you. Ooh la la! This is very... Um... Noble and... Royal. Ah, I see. It's a painting of the king himself. That's one noble looking penguin. What do you think of it, Falcon? True, I agree. What do I think? Well... I'm no art critic, but... I mean, it's subtle, but let me just go with it here. It's a magnificent painting of our beloved king. Mwah! It's a masterpiece! Wow, really? You must be looking at different paintings, because... All I'm seeing is a painting in a fancy dress. <laughs> Facts. I'm getting the impression that you messieurs aren't regulars at art galleries. No, we're a right pair of Philistines. Speak for yourself, Falcon. I've never even been to the Middle East. Then, I'm guessing you're here to investigate the King's assassination attempt. Assassination attempt. Ah, huh, that's right. We were actually hoping we could, bar we could ask you a couple of questions about what you saw. 
Oh, I wasn't even in Paris when the murder took place. I didn't see anything. But, uh... I have a friend who might be able to help you out. This friend is so sad as f A. What's this? R&M Associates. The home of Renard Vol Volpe. Uh, Renard Volpe's private investigator. Thank you. But I don't normally deal with these grey area of the law types. No, please. Give the guy a chance. He helped me out of a bind before. I'm sure he can do the same for you. Well, not making any promises, but I'll keep hold of the card. We appreciate the help in any case. It's no trouble. Eric Pork, take the man's call. Thank you for your time, Monsieur. Is there anything else we can do here? Well, ideally we would turn the whole Grand Galier upside down in our hunt for evidence. Or evidence. But that is just not possible with so many people around. We should probably just move to another room. Au revoir. Alright. Salut de Tibre. So, this is the Sayé du Tibre. If I understand Kokriko's notes correctly, this is the room the king and his entourage stopped in before the heading before heading to the Gen. Grand Galeri, yeah, Grand Galier. In accent. This room doesn't seem to be very popular. I don't see anybody around to interrogate. Interview. Right. Interview. Well, since it's quiet, maybe we should take the opportunity to do a little snoopy. What would be the point? Surely all these all the interesting evidence would be in the Grand Galier, where the murder took place. I mean, think about it, Falcon. The police would have already gone over the Grand Galier with a fine tooth comb. But I bet that numbskull Inspector Volerte didn't even think to check this room for clues. There might be a murder weapon just under our beaks. By George! Your logic seems a little questionable, but it wouldn't hurt to have a look, I suppose. That's a brilliant idea, Sparson. That's what I think. This is some sort of ceremonial container. It's beautifully crafted. But what does it? What, what did it contain? Maybe it's an arcane wine cabinet? Don't be so arrogant, Falcon. This is a sacred Mesopotamian artifact. Gifting to Emperor Hadrian for his victory at Euphrates in 123 AD. Stop making stuff up. You and I both know nothing about Mesopotamia. Alright, alright, you got me. This could be a hippo's chamber pot for all I know. Bro. <laughs> Over here. I see a cabinet full of engraved plates. What's the brands? How much do you think they're worth? I don't know. 300 francs a piece at least? What? Are you serious? I'm in the wrong profession. Man's broke as hell. I could sell one of these plates for 300 francs. I don't think archaeology works as a get rich quick scheme, Sparso. Who said anything about archaeology? I'm going to become a museum robber. <laughs> oh, well, that's one way of getting rich quick. Man's, man's got goals. I'm not sure what this is. Some kind of stand or podium? Maybe it's just a decorated piece. It's a Roman doorstep. Roman doors were enormous marble slabs, so the doorsteps had to be similarly large in order to stay in place. I don't think that's right. My uncle's a Roman historian, trust me. Whatever you say, bro. Um, what else here? You see, with, with the thing with this, when you're examining, it doesn't really give you any clues, so you just gotta examine the place till something turns up. A shiny copper urn. I guess it was used for carrying water or for cremated remains. 
Probably not both at the same time. That's good. Don't sniff the exhibit, Sparson. No, really. This urn smells amazing. It's almost chocolatey. Oh, you poor thing. You're hallucinating from hunger. Would you like to stop by a bakery on our way back to the office? Don't patronize me, Falcon. My nose never lies. I'm telling you, there's something in there. I can feel it. Now you're touching the exhibit. That's definitely a no-no. Yare yare. See? Look what I found in the urn. Put that down, Sparson. It's someone's old rubbish. No, look. It's a chocolate wrapper. Judging by the smell, the chocolate was bitter and dark. 70, perhaps. 80% cocoa. Belgian in origin. Level of wrapper cup crumpling the firmness of the chocolate. Chocolate residue indicate that this was discarded just a few days ago. Yes, I'm certain. The chocolate contained in this wrapper was undoubtedly consumed on the 7th of January. The day of the murder, bro, how did you know that? Mon dieu, Sparson! You deducted all that from sp smelling the wrapper? Imagine what, could, what I could work out if I tasted it. That won't be necessary. Sparson. If you could apply this level of critical thinking to areas outside of food, you would be the world's greatest detective. If only all evidence were edible. So, do you have any idea which shop, shop this chocolate was purchased from? That might help us track down the person who consumed it. Oh, there's no possible way we could have known that. I suppose we will just have to visit every confectioner in town and sample every bit of merchandise in comparison. Oh, what a chore. But I'm looking forward to it. Interesting. Because I can see Land <laughs> Because I can see Lander ha Hagel. Hagel Slacks? Or Hagel Slacks? I just say Hagel Slacks. Because I could see Lander Hagel Slacks Chocolate Emporium written on the wrapper. Well, you can't blame a bird for trying. So close, Spurs, and so close. Alright, I think I got everything I needed to get, but let me just do these two here. Da 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 da, da 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 da. Nope, alright. Da 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 da, da 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 da. Da. That's it. Alright, that's it. Au revoir. We're done here. I know at least. I can't spend all day staring at Roman artifacts, I suppose. So, where to next? Okay, so we got some solid evidence here. Um go back to plan. Say the carousel. Are we done here? I believe so. We have to go to this guy. I just want to get everything in. in um, hand because we're going up against Severin and the guy is flamboyant and very arrogant so that means he's solid so I need to get everything I need all the bits. we're done here <coughs> another day all right next up hmm all right I'm gonna go to chocolate Emporium. Me bomba. How am I gonna voice this person now? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Langer Hagel Hagel that slacks chocolate emporium, the finest Belgian chocolate shop in all of Paris. I am Langer Lander Hagel Slack, the founder and owner of this establishment, and I am JJ Falcon. Defense attorney. Good day, monsieur. Oh, lawyers. Very fancy. I must say that I once dreamed of being a lawyer. But, well, circumstances wouldn't allow it. It's a funny story. You see, when I was a boy, I befriended the son of a Hungarian attorney. Falcon, you have to help me. Oh, what is it? It's a smell, Falcon. It's, it's overpowering me. 
is demanding that I lay waste to the shop. <laughs> For pity's sake, restrain yourself, Sparson. Oh, but I'm rambling, aren't I? So, are you must see us here to buy some chocolates? Yes! Yes! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! We're actually here on business, Monsieur! Business? First things first. We believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your sh shop. Are we correct? Oh, yes, yes! That is indeed the trademark Hagelslack wrapper for genuine Belgian Hagelslack chocolate. This was almost certainly bought from this very fine establishment, I must say. Hmm, very good. With that established, there's something we, would, we, we wish to ask, Monsieur Hagelslack. Who bought this piece of chocolate? I mean, I can't just say it's, it's poison. I distinct to him. Hold on. Already? Can you tell us who bought the chocolate that was contained in this wrapper, Monsieur Hagelslack? I am afraid not, Messieurs. Not just because of matters of confidentiality, although that is a factor, you understand, but because I couldn't possibly know that. I thought elephants never forget. My memory is impeccable, Monsieur, but you must understand that I have dozens of customers a day. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. Hmm. So, your memory is good, but you need further information. If we were to give you the description of a person, would you be able to tell us whether they purchased something from you? Oh, why, yes, yes. I, that I could probably do, Monsieur. Let me think who to ask about. Um nope 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 turn the page nope 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 um nope I mean hmm. Alright let me try let me try out something Um, have you ever served Juan Cridero, the Prince of Spain? The Prince of Spain? No, Monsieur. Well, that's good to hear. Our clue would have turned into a dead end for our own clan, turned out to be a cho chocolate fiend. I did once serve a princess of, from Malai, if that is any help. You see, I met the girl while hiking through the Himalayas. Please, stop. Let me think. Alright, who else asks about? Alright, Juan is out. Eric Pork? See, that's the thing. I don't know who to ask. Really, because I don't have the solid person. Severin is no good. No. No. Alright, I, I ain't got no one here. If I can, I can exit. Lucky. Uh, scrolling through, scrolling through. Let's try this. Oop. Bro, I don't know who else. Let me let me go, please. Hold up. Just 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 let me go. Um, major hole. No. Right. Uh, there's someone there. No, that's a that's a that. Yeah, I should just probably come back another time.
when I actually have an idea of a chocolate lover. Nice. Another day. Days are passing. Same cool. Um I need to come back here eventually. Oh. Where did I just come from? They hall? No, I'm not gonna go here yet. No, that's for drinking. No. Ale de Luba. Oh, I've been here. Shoot. I let me go to I will bother him enough. Okay. Let's go back. Which means another day. Need to be careful. Alright, play hall. The pair arrives at the Hall's market. Vendors and buskers, performance and th performers and thieves, bourgeois and peasants all bustle from place to place. This one said that he met a flower girl here. Signia, I think he said her name was. There's a swan with flowers over there. You think that's her? I think so. Shout out to nine viewers. Welcome, welcome, guys. It's possible that she knows the murderer, or even that she is the murderer herself. So we should probably act with tact and finesse. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Flower Lady, we would like to have a word. Tact, Sparrowson. Tact. We've been over this. The day, messieurs. Are you interested in purchasing our flower? Yes, I wish to purchase a flower from my lady. I'm afraid that I'm out of flowers. I sold my last one on Vincolo. Perhaps you would be satisfied with chrysanthemum instead? Chrysanthemum. Tis a beautiful flower from a fair maiden. Please don't mind, Sparrowson. He fell out of his nest as a baby and he has said dumb things ever since. Hey, that's not nice. Let me introduce myself. I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Are you Mademoiselle Signe? That's right. Catherine Marie Signe. I suppose you're here to ask about the royal assassination attempt. How did you know? I'm no fool, monsieur. I know a rose. I know that rose I saw was used as a murder weapon. A murder weapon? To be honest, I'm surprised it's taken so long for someone to directly question me. The Parisian police seem to have a habit of missing obvious leads. So, do you mind if we ask you a couple of questions? This is slow. Please, ask away. I mean, obviously, this is the obvious question, but let me just go here. So, where do you acquire your flowers from, if I may ask? Oh, really, I gather them from the wild. Last week I found, I found these chrysanthemums on the city limits. And that's the same place I just covered this monk should. But, since it's still winter, I have to buy a lot from my flowers. To buy a lot of my flowers from my merchants who travel to Italy and the Netherlands. That's how I acquired this rose. What can you tell us about these particular merchants? What's a lot, monsieur? He's just a man, old man who passes through Paris a few times a year, selling his goods and wares. See? Chance of him being a super secret assassin? Well, monsieur, do you want to know something else? Mademoiselle, you mentioned that you sold your last rose a week ago. Did you sell it to me? I sold all the rose. Hmm. I didn't catch his name. 
But he was a charming red fox. Sounds like our one. I met him around a week ago, on the 6th. We talked for a little while about the usual things. You know, like how everyone seems to be in debt these days. Then he bought a rose and left. I heard that the fox is on trial. But, to be honest, Cynthia, I don't think he's guilty. Oh? Why is that? Well, actually, never mind. It's just a gut feeling. Oh, tell me. Then what up? Mademoiselle, as it just so happens that we're defending this particular fox in our Quad Assis. If you have something to say that we could prove his innocence, now would be the time to let us know. Um, I'm sorry, messieurs. I can't. I had something. Oh, wait, Mademoiselle Sig, what up? Damn. Nice display of tact and finesse, Falcon. <laughs> you scared her off. The Swan obviously knows something crucial about this case. We need to get to the bottom of whatever it is. Agreed. But I don't think she'll be in the mood to tell us anything else. I know. Why don't we a try acting with a little more tact and finesse next time? Oh, hush. <laughs> Everybody's on <laughs> Falcon's case. Alright, we're almost to the end of our street. The hell is this? Hello. Occasionally, special cinematic scenes are marked by that. that. They take no time. Okay, they take no time, but that's good. I can actually spare it. Your viewing is entirely optional. Alright, I'm gonna close the stream off soon, so why not close things off with a little cinematic thing here? Kiskase! A storm is brewing, my brother. Aha! Uh -huh. Word of the royal assassination attempt has spread. The proletariats are com grow confident. The bourgeoisie are cowering. It won't be long before we have rioting. Kiss Kase, and then a revolution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was shorter than I thought, so I can go on to something else. Um, shoot. Do I need to? All right, let me visit this. See what's up. Oh, customers. Uh, hello. Is this the office of Renard Volpes? Ah, it's you two. Mousy, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is where I work. See, you're in him. Renard and Mousy. Once you're Renard about this, and I carry out all sorts of in in investigations together. Although, to be completely honest, it's normally Monsieur Vaudez who chooses which cases to take on. I see. Well then. Can we speak with, can we speak with Monsieur Volpes? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that won't be possible. The Monsieur Volpes is on vacation right now. He's visiting his father in England. England? But he is set to return in a week or two. You can come back then. That's no good on us. Our case will be over by then. There's nothing to be done about it. I suppose we'll have to come back later. Alrighty. Alright, that's no good. These things take time and I have to be careful here. Um what is that option? Let's see. Um da 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 da, -da. Alright, well that's no help. Um just chocolate import. I can't go back to the chocolate emporium. So I have to go back to the bar. See what's up here. Really, Falcon? I thought you were done with your mopey drinking. I'm not here to drink, Sparrowson. Or mope for that matter. 
Taverns are a fantastic hub of information. We wish to look at, learn, if we wish to get to learn more about this Prince Juan, then this would be the ideal place to start asking questions. It is true. Oh, that's pretty good thinking. Ah, there you are to our back. Are you feeling it better, Falcon? Much better. Thank you for asking, Madame Cornell. That's right to hear, hon. Will it be the usual? Oh, no, no. I'm back to investigative work today, so I've got to keep sharp. Well, we wanted to know if you've seen a Prince of Spain around here recently. A Prince of Spain? I don't know if you've noticed, hon, but this isn't exactly the classiest pub in Paris. I'm lucky to serve the occasional bourgeois. You can forget about seeing a member of royalty. Hmm, that's a pity. Maybe I should ask one of your patrons. Feel free. The old regulars Rufus and Powell are playing cards in the attic, same as always. But do we get all sorts of colorful characters in the drinking room? I bet if you rattle, if you rattle enough cages, you'll find someone who knows whatever it is you want to know. I don't know. I'm just a bartender. Thank you, madam. Let's see where to start. <laughs> uh, let's go to the card room. Oh, come on, pal. Just one more game of Jackie and you Absolutely not. My wallet is hurting enough as it is. Please, I'll even let you deal this time. The answer is no, Rufus. I'm skinned. If you want to play cards, you have to hack someone else. Fine. I'll ask that bay fellow. Excuse me, more, Monsieur. Yes, you, Monsieur. Do you care to play some Jacquet Noir? I mean, not today. I'm afraid I don't have time for that, Monsieur. I have some investigative work to take care of. Oh, come on. Surely you have time for one quick game? Oh, fine. No waste today. Alright, alright. You've twisted my arm. Very well, very well then. Do you know how to play? Nope. Nope. I'm only familiar with Shago and Tap Tarak. Ooh, this is much better than those silly games. Let me tell you how it works. I have a deck of cards with values between 1 and 11. I deal you one card at a time. If you hit 21, I win. I give you 5 francs. Oh, gambling. 5 francs? That seems a little steep. This is a mind's game, monsieur. Only children gamble over petty sewers. Besides, Higher sticks make for a more exciting game, right? I suppose so. So I'm gonna gamble, guys. Go for 21. This is 4. Um, I don't know how to play this, so hit me. Okay, 13. I have to hit 21. Hit me. Okay, 14. Hit me. I win. Okay, I got it. That was too easy. That was way too easy. Well played, Monsieur. Here's your payouts. Shall we have another round? No, I played too many um gambling games to know what this is. The first one, the first time or first two times, you're gonna win, and then on the third round and going forward, you're gonna lose like dog. So no, I'm done. <laughs> no, I think we're done. Maybe another day, Monsieur. Well, I understand. Feel free to come back anytime. At least I get some money. To the drinking room I go. <clears throat> so there I was, in the grasslands, 10 kilometers down the river. Rifle in hand. I had been pursuing this set of footprints for an hour. I was getting closer and closer. I could almost smell the beast. Then, I spotted it. It was a boar. A big, stupid boar. Completely oblivious to my existence, I readied my gun. I carefully took aim. And then, BAM! You shot it? No. It was the most peculiar thing. The boar slumped over dead right before I could take a shot. Sounds like one of them heart attacks. Minan went the same way. That's what I thought. 
but when I went to take a closer look, I noticed the boar was frothing at the mouth. La la. Whoa. Was it Rally? Possible, but I don't think so. I remember reading up about something frothing around the mouth being a symptom of poisoning. Needless to say, I left the dead animal alone. Good call. Who wants to eat a tainted meat? Who wants to deal with tainted meat? It's my about the boar. Excuse me, more, Monsieur? Yes, how can I help you? You say that the piece you were tracking might have died from poisoning. Could you, feel, could you give us further details? Further details? I'm not much of a poison expert, I'm afraid. Well, what do you think caused it? I would guess it ate something bad. I saw some, I saw some of that poisonous plant around. Wolf's vein, I think they call it. But really, I have no idea. I'm a hunter, not a vet. Excuse me. Um, this is it. This is what we need. But let me just ask this question. Excuse me, more, Monsieur. What is it? I don't suppose you've seen a Juan Corrido around here. He's Spanish royalty. Foxy fellow, swanky hat, calls everyone senior. That doesn't sound familiar. Do you recall seeing anyone like that, Piero? Ain't got a clue. Sorry, Messias. You're barking up the wrong tree. Lol, pun. Tisk. Well, what can you tell us about the Spanish royal family? Do we look like walking in encycl encyclopedias or something? I'm afraid my compadre has a point. If you want to talk about hunting, then I'm a man. But Spanish royalty? That sounds like a question to be answered at a library, Monsieur, not a tavern. A library? Maybe you're right. Sorry for bothering you, Monsieur. And that is it. Let's give them some peace. Alrighty, we got what we need. Wolf's Bane is the cause of the axe, um, the poison. Yep, let's go. All right, I'm going to end the stream here, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And special shout out to Living Kaiser for that um, voice acting of Severin Kokriko. Um, I will not, rather, I cannot voice Severin Kokriko because Kaiser is the perfect person for him. So I will play, I will be streaming this again next week, Monday. Um, going forward so i see you guys on wednesday for you know another random stream shout out to all seven viewers you guys are the best love y'all and i really and i really love the support you guys have been giving so far respect mcov so i'll see you guys on monday for another stream and i'll see you next week monday for episode 2.5 of aviary attorney Till then, peace in the Middle East. Take care, everyone.